What's up YouTube, it's Ben, and in this video, I'm here to break the news to you. Work-life balance isn't real. Yeah, you heard me right. Work-life balance is a total fallacy, and you have to choose one or the other, or you have to integrate the both and create a lifestyle business. So, when people talk about work-life balance, they're really just using a phrase that sounds fun and sounds nice like, oh yeah, we can balance my work and balance my life, but you can't. If you do the numbers and you look at your life and you look at your work and you look at your business and you look at all your obligations and the actual time, like waking hours in the day, it doesn't work out. Let's talk about it. All right, so this idea of work-life balance has been fed to us for years and years and years and ultimately came out of like the manufacturing industry, right? Where basically people had to be on the manufacturing line, like working, 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 then they would get off time, right? Or people had to come to the office and work for a set eight hours, right? And then off time, right? But let's think about this from a business owner's perspective, right? Or someone that runs a business or invests in things or does whatever, right? With that being said, you need to understand there's still no work-life balance. It doesn't stop. You have to integrate the two and you have to create what's called a lifestyle business, right? This is the key. And I'll tell you exactly how to do it because I've done it myself and it works great. All right, so the first thing that I realized once I actually became a business owner and started investing and started basically just running my own show after leaving Microsoft, I realized that it wasn't the hours that I worked, but it was the work in the hours that I put in, right? So whenever I started working for myself, I realized I never worked harder because I knew it was for myself. Right? So when you're working for a nine to five, if that's you right now, understand that you're working that eight hour day with that one hour lunch or whatever the heck you get. I don't know, right? Whatever the time schedule is, you're working for the man. And there is no work life balance because when you're done, you go home, you're exhausted. You want to chill. You want to basically go to sleep. But if you have a wife, a girlfriend, a husband, uh, whatever you have and you want to basically have family time or have some pleasure and leisure and eat dinner and all that kind of stuff, those are just necessities. Those are just basic core like I have to eat dinner, you know what I mean? And then I have to go to sleep because I need to wake up for work tomorrow again, right? It just doesn't work. Work-life balance is not a thing. You just gotta understand it doesn't exist, it's not real. So like I said before, the whole concept is it's not the hours that you work, it's the work that you put into those hours. So when I was starting everything up with my recruiting agency originally, it was how much intensity or how much I was putting into the hours that I was actually utilizing to building my agency, right? So doing all the right things at the right time and making sure I was getting everything done specifically the way I wanted to, then I could take a break or I could take time for myself as I wanted to, right? Because in that scenario, on that platform, working for yourself, you have that capacity to say, well, I'm stopping now and I'm gonna go ahead and chill for a bit and then I'm gonna get back to working, right? And doing things for my business. Think about it like this. Focus on your performance. Focus on what's happening that's good. Are you getting clients? Are you getting deals? Are you making money? Are you profitable, right? Are those things happening? You need to make sure those things happen, right? And whatever hours it takes to do that, make sure that happens. And if you're really, really good at what you do, it'll be a small amount of hours. If you're slow and you're just starting, it'll be a longer amount of hours and that's fine. That's just the way business goes. But you gotta understand that there's not a balance. There's not going to be a balance, especially for those of you that are just starting up. If you have the entrepreneurial spirit, like the real one, right? Not the entrepreneur, the entrepreneur, you'll work 15 plus hours a day to actually maintain your business and to build your business. You'll do that. 
But if you're a entrepreneur, you'll kind of fall into the whole schema of the nine to five and put in like seven to eight hours and say, I'm a business owner and you know, I'm just going to spend these seven hours or so cold emailing people or sending out, you know, I don't know, messages and, and doing my outreach and business development and maybe talking to clients, maybe not, I don't know, but whatever happens, happens in that seven hours. And you know, then I'll just go chill, right? Because I'm a business owner and I'm an entrepreneur and I can do whatever I want. False. Totally wrong. Now, as I ease you through understanding that work-life balance doesn't exist anymore, and you have to understand that it's always been a fallacy, you have to understand what's a priority and what's not. This is really important. So let's just say your email, right? Your email can take a back seat for like a whole day, maybe even two days. Your email doesn't need to be responded to consistently or constantly, right? You could literally go off the grid and do other work, do other performance enhancing work that actually gets you results while not responding to a bunch of garbage email or maybe it's important email, but you can get to it later, right? But focus on the priorities. Focus on income generating activity. Because work-life balance doesn't exist, performance exists and rewards from performance exists. And that's exactly why you focus on the work that goes into your hours and the performance that comes out of that work. How about this one? Do your work at odd hours. So check this out. I get up oftentimes at 4.30 in the morning. Why? Because I wanna get some coffee, I wanna chill out, I wanna meditate, take my supplements, kinda kick it, and then check some email, and then kind of slowly work myself into the things I need to prioritize for my work, right? To get those things done, right? So I've decided a certain design based on productivity hacks, which I did a video on, I'll link that to this video, but the productivity hacks and the priorities and the things I've put in place for me are special to me, right? You need to figure out what's special to you. Right, So when you actually get these things going and put priorities first, right, like the things that you need to do that you know is going to grow your business, that you know is going to get you results, that you know is going to make you profitable, do those things and 10x those things. I often said in a lot of my old YouTube videos, stay closest to the money. And that always remains true. So if you're doing something and that one thing or two things is staying close to the money and bringing you the money, like you're getting paid, just focus on all that. Keep going, you know what I mean? So that's the deal. Check out the way that you need to run your day and customize it. This is hugely important, right? Customize the way you identify your priorities, identify when you want to do them and when you want to chill out, right? And then just run your day like that. I can tell you from personal firsthand experience that sometimes I'll wake up at literally 3.30 in the morning and I will open up my laptop just because I went to bed super early the night prior because I had nothing going on. I was just chilling, went to bed early, Woke up at 3.30 in the morning. Sounds ungodly to people, right? But it's work-life balance that doesn't exist. So we get to do whatever we want, right? So I took some emails, responded to some emails, like checked out my social pages, checked out all of the people that I need to get in contact with, like did things that were priorities to me, right? So that I could kind of kick it later, right? When I got up in the morning, my fires were all extinguished. So I could kind of hang out and then see what was up next, right? And just work my day that way. So it's all about customization, prioritization, and making sure that you feel comfortable in your new lifestyle business. Because again, work-life balance is not a thing. You really need to let go of this concept that you can segment the two and that they're both gonna maintain the same integrity, right? Your work is gonna be your work and that's gonna be super important and your home life balance or whatever it is is gonna maintain its integrity and it's also gonna be super valuable and important. It's not. You need to integrate the both together, right? You need to find that customized 
prioritized identity of how you can run your lifestyle business while being super profitable, making a ton of money, building a big business, and being able to enjoy your life and reap the fruits of your labor, right? That's super, super important, right? So you create what your quote unquote work-life balance was, which it does not exist. You create that lifestyle business. You create that combo. I wanna also mention to you a real stark truth to this. Sacrifice is real. Sacrifice comes into play. If you really want to create something big, if you really want to go hardcore and build a big business that makes a lot of money, you're going to have to sacrifice some things. That means personal relationships. That means hobbies. That means like leisure time. That means all those things, right? All of those things have to take a seat, not a back seat, but they have to take a side seat until you're ready for them, right? So if you want to go golfing with the boys, hey, maybe it doesn't work out this Saturday because maybe this Saturday you're doing something really big that's got to launch on Monday. Then maybe you can go golfing with the boys on Wednesday. Who knows, right? And you should go golfing with the boys on Wednesday because hopefully all your boys are also available on Wednesdays because they're also entrepreneurs just like you that run lifestyle businesses, right? So this is really, really important to your psyche, right? To the way that you view this whole thing, okay? I really want to drive home the concept that you absolutely just need to get rid of the fact that lifestyle is based on your work-life balance. There's no balance. It's impossible. Look at the numbers, crunch it all out, try it, right? And think about how is this even balanced? It's not. You'll realize very quickly when you analyze everything that you've been fed, everything that you've been taught, everything that you've been shown, it doesn't exist. You don't have any balance. There's no balance, right? You get these two weeks paid vacation. Oh, wow. That's so fun. Look, if you run a lifestyle business correctly and profitably, you get as much vacation as you want. You can integrate your work with those vacation times, right? Wherever you want, whenever you want. That's why we talk and preach so much about financial freedom, location freedom, right? And freedom in general, right? That's what we're all after. And that's what the lifestyle business is. So ultimately I'm here to tell you guys, work-life balance is dead. It's not a thing. Stop believing in it. And the lifestyle business is well and alive and millions, millions of people are living it and loving it. All right, guys, I just wanted to let you know. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was maybe breaking news or maybe a reminder to you. But with that being said, if you got any value, smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and join our Facebook group at the bottom of this video. There's a link to Recruiter Empire. There's 15,000 entrepreneurs in there. We'd love to have you be our next one and I'll see you guys next time.